Well, imagine not having a job, a home, or even a safe place to go. Homelessness is a growing problem for more and more suburban families. Today, Stefan Holt has one woman's story, plus how you can help this weekend. Thanksgiving morning, I knocked on my mom's front door and asked her if we could stay. Alicia Hanneman was about to become a homeowner until everything fell apart. Under the weight of debt and only a part-time job, she struggled to provide for herself and her six-year-old son, Aiden. I was working, I was doing everything that I could. My son was going to school and to know that I still couldn't get anywhere. That's when Alicia applied for Bridge Communities Transitional Housing Program, serving hundreds of families in the western suburbs every year. Alicia learned from mentors at Bridge about finances, creating a budget, and career skills. Anything that you need to kind of have a, a balanced, structured life, they teach you how to do it. And for once, I wasn't depending on anybody except for myself. This is Biscuit and his friend Sam. It's now a fresh start for Aiden and Alicia, who now works full time with the Wheaton Park District. It's freedom because it's finally my life and you know, I've finally taken control of what what the outcome is going to be for us. Thank you. <laughs> this Saturday night, 2000 kids and adults will sleep outside in tents and in sleeping bags in an event to fight homelessness in our community. I'll be there to host the 10th annual Sleep Out Saturday, kicking off at 7 p.m. at 505 Crescent Boulevard in Glen Ellen. There's still time to participate or to sponsor a sleeper. Just log on to www.sleepoutsaturday.org. I'm Stephen Holt, NBC5 News.